Installation of Multifunction Board Brief Introduction Multifunction Board is developed for making the high wall units suitable for some project. It provides some extra ports. Remote on off ports with which a remote switch can be connected to control the air conditioner to be on or off. The switch could be a switch in central control room or card insertion system in a hotel. Remote alarm ports with which a remote alarm device could be connected to declare a malfunction of the air conditioner when there is. The alarm device must have extra power supply. Dual way communication ports which are X, Y, E and 12 volt power from left to right. The ports are to be connected with our dual way communication wired controller KJR120C with four core wire. XYE ports are also can be connected to the central controller and even BMS system with our BMS interface equipment. Multifunction board comes with a small box and it is to be installed inside a bracket. This bracket should be pre-installed on the evaporator when the unit comes out from the factory. Close the box after wiring. Push the whole assembly in the bracket along the sliding tiles on both sides until there is a click sound. Installation of multifunction box. Pull the lock to the right and make the middle axis out of the supporter and take the right supporter out of the drive axis of swing motor. Then take the left axis out of the bearing. The big louver can be removed away. Release two screws of the frame. Open the panel and frame and use the yellow supporting bars to lock it. Here is the bracket for installing the multi-function box. Wiring. All the wiring work should be according to the diagram. The connection cable of display board should be changed if the unit isn't customized to be ready for multi-function board. Release the fixing screw of display box to remove it. Take down the connection wire between display board and main PCB, which is a four core cable with a seven pin plug. Replace it with a seven core cable with seven pin plug, which has two wire. One is four core and to be connected to the main PCB, and another one is three core and to be connected to the multi-function board. Insert the seven pin plug and arrange the wires well. Put the display box back. Connect the terminal of a remote alarm which should have its own power supply. Connect the dual way communication wired controller with the four core cable. Note the four core sequence. Red one is 12 volt power. Brown is X. Yellow is Y and white is E. Connect the terminal of remote on off switch. Function test. Switch off the remote on off switch. The unit will stop working and show CP. Switch on the switch. CP will disappear and the unit goes back to normal working. The alarm will be on if there is an error code showed on the unit. The alarm will be off if the error code disappear. Control the unit with dual way wired controller and check if the unit has correct response. Change settings of the unit with a remote controller and check if the wired controller changes its display. Finish the installation. Close the cover and make the three fasteners locked. Push the whole box into the bracket on the evaporator. Arrange all the cables well. Close the panel and frame. Use screws to fix it and put the big louver back. Multi-function board for connecting KJR120G. 
There is another multi-function board for connecting the two-core wired controller KJR120G. The remote alarm and remote on-off ports are also there, but XYE ports are not available anymore. To connect the wired controller, just connect the two wires of controller to the ports and without polarity.